pretty soon I'm gonna end up doing the reviews probably on the street or something like that uh, we are getting rid of things uh, every day so we're down to nothing right now and take a look at my new office station right now I'm doing my review right here <laughs> down with these uh, two uh, tables and that folding chair right there but this is what I have to show you guys today. We're gonna to be taking a look at this a really nice uh, Asus computer. This is the Asus ZenBook 305. We're also gonna be taking a look at this one. This is the uh, Lenovo Yoga 700. Super nice, really powerful laptop. Uh, two laptops, and let's see what we have here. Uh, both are really good looking computers, and they share pretty much uh, same specs. Uh, they both have the uh, new Intel M processor, so it's going to be low power consumption, but it's still going to give you really nice uh, performance. Uh, also, uh, they have 8 gig of RAM, both of these computers, 8 gig of RAM, so it's going to be really, really quick opening and closing things. They also offer both uh, solid state drive, uh, 256 gigabyte. So it's also going to be really quick at boot up times. And like I said before, opening and closing things is going to be quick uh, because of the solid state drive. Okay, so the difference here between these two is on the ASOS, we have the M3 processor. On the uh, Lenovo, we have the uh, M5. The uh, M5 is going to be faster. So uh, the Lenovo is actually a little bit faster than the ASUS because I have here 8 gig of RAM and the M5 versus on the ASUS uh, we have the uh, M3 and 8 gig of RAM all right so let's uh, take a look here and see what are the differences in terms of the thickness and design I had to give it to the ASUS the ASUS looks uh, way better with this uh, you know aluminum finish or aluminum brush finish all the way around the laptop and it also looks a little bit thinner if we put it here next to the uh, Lenovo. Uh, the Asus is just a little bit thinner. Now the weight on the Asus, I believe is uh, 2.6 pounds versus the uh, Lenovo, it's 2.4 pounds. So the Lenovo, it's a little bit lighter, but it's also 11.6 inches versus the Asus is uh, 13.3 inches so uh, let's take a look at the port here so on the asus and as i'm telling you guys all this information you know some things are going to be better on one some things are going to be better on the other one right here on the asus we have three full size 3.0 usb ports two on this side right here one on this side right here on the lenovo we have one 3.0 right here that's the charger and we also have right here another one and I believe these can be used also as a USB port but the only one that is a 3.0 it's this one right here okay let's see what else we have here on the uh, Asus uh, micro HDMI port combo microphone audio jack LED indicators right here and this is to charge the computer. Here on the other side, we have a full size AC card reader. And we have two speakers on the bottom of the computer, one right here and the other one right here. And the four rubber feet. All right, what else we have here on the uh, Lenovo? On the Lenovo, power button is right here on the side. I believe that's the uh, reset button. This is a lock for the orientation of the screen. Volume rocker right here on the side. Audio jack, microphone combo. Uh, USB port 2.0. On this other side, uh, this is where you charge the tablet. I'm not 100% sure guys, but I believe it can be used as a uh, uh, 2.0 USB port. This is a 3.0 USB port, a micro HDMI and full size SD card reader. On the bottom of the tablet, we have two speakers and also four rubber feet. All right, let's go ahead and open the tablets here and see how they look like. So that's that one. 
And here's the uh, Asus. So this is how they look like. And as you guys can see, the uh, trackpad on the Asus is uh, bigger than the one on the uh, Lenovo. The keys are also a little bit bigger, or the keyword I should say, on the uh, Asus uh, versus the uh, Lenovo, since we have a uh, 13.3 inches versus 11.6. Now, one thing that I can tell you about the display on the uh, Asus is a 2K display, my friends. Uh, 2K Quad HD display, IPS. Uh, battery life on the uh, Asus, it's uh, rated between 8 to 10 hours. Uh, battery life here on the uh, Lenovo, it's uh, rated at 7 hours. I can tell you that I have passed the 7 hours on this machine. But it all depends on the uh, brightness, the settings, and how are, how are you using the computer. The display on the Lenovo, it's at 1080p display. Both computers also offer webcam. Now, one super good feature that we have here on the uh, Lenovo that we don't have on the Asus, uh, you can go all the way back and basically use this in four different modes. On the Asus, this is as far as you can go, which is still pretty far, but you're not going to be able to go all the way back and flip it. So, uh, let me show you now how the... Uh, how can you use the Lenovo? Obviously, you can use it as a laptop like that. You can also use it like this. I don't know, they, I think it's for presentations or to watch movies or whatever. Uh, you can also use it as a tablet. And you can also use it like this. So four different modes. Now this computer, it's extremely, extremely light. Uh, I think I said before, 2.4 pounds. Well, like I said before, you know, the uh, Lenovo Yoga with the uh, M5 processor, obviously it's gonna be faster. And you guys are gonna see the scores. So here we go. At the same time, uh, normal everyday activities, uh, when it comes to a performance, uh, I mean, it's hard to tell that this one is faster. And basically, I'm not trying to compare guys, uh, you know, this one with this one in terms of the look and all that. It's mostly to show you guys two different computers, but also to show you the performance between an M3 versus an M5. Or an M5 versus M3, I'm sorry. You know, a lot of people probably don't know or are not familiar with the Intel Core M processors. I think some people think that they are slow and they think that they are, those are processors for tablets or something like that, really slow. Not at all, not at all. So we have uh, 485 points here on the uh, Asus versus 685 points on the uh, Lenovo. Just to give you guys an idea, if we compare these machines to an iCore processor, this one right here, it's between an i3 and an i5. And this one right here is between an i5 and an i7. This is not quite the performance of the i7, and this is not quite the performance of the i5. So it's in between. But really good performance. Uh, let's go ahead and close this and go ahead and open multiple things uh, so you guys can see how quick or how uh, slow, if you think it's slow, uh, they open things up. Uh, so I have some videos right here that I filmed with a GoPro camera. I'm gonna go ahead and open them, and as you guys can see, it opens the video right away. These are videos filmed in a 1080 60 frame. Uh, so no problem at all. The computer opens the videos right away. Excellent quality. I also have another 1080p. And you know what? I'm going to turn up the uh, brightness on both to the maximum. That's 100% on the uh, Yoga. And here it is. 100% on both, and they both have the auto brightness turned on too. 
Uh, so here is another 1080p video, 60 frames on the Alinovo Yoga. And as you guys can see, it opens the video right away. Very, very good quality. All right, so we're gonna take a look here at Yahoo page. Uh, both computers uh, are using the uh, internet browser that comes with uh, Windows 10. And that's another thing to mention, both computers comes with Windows 10. Uh, so uh, touch screen works uh, really good on both, uh, really responsive, uh, zoom in and zoom out too. Uh, same thing right here on the uh, Lenovo, as you guys can see, zoom in and zoom out also very responsive. Uh, also, let's uh, go ahead and test here the uh, trackpad uh, right here on the uh, Asus, as you can see, works pretty good. Also, you can zoom in and zoom out with the fingers. So it works good. Uh, same thing right here on the uh, Lenovo. And that's uh, the zoom in and zoom out with the fingers. So it works out uh, pretty good. 90% on the uh, Yoga. Here's 100%. Back to the ASUS here at 90%, uh, 100, I'm sorry. And back to the yoga. So pretty quick when it comes to uh, loading the pages. Uh, here's the uh, Lenovo doing the same thing. Both computers open everything right away when it comes to the browsing. I have to say when it comes to the keyboard, I like better the keyboard here on the uh, Asus. Uh, it feels better experience, just more comfortable typing with these keys. Uh, the keys on the uh, Lenovo are not bad, but for some reason, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels way nicer and better the keys here on the uh, Asus. Also the trackpad here on the Asus is way better uh, because it's bigger probably it's just easier to do the zoom in and zoom out and the material on the trackpad it feels easier to uh, activate with your fingers uh, versus here on the uh, Lenovo I think because it's uh, smaller and also the uh, material that they use for the trackpad it doesn't go that smooth when it comes to you know moving your fingers over it's just more responsive on the uh, Asus. Now, there is one issue that I have to report on the uh, Asus computer. I don't know if this is something that can be fixed with a software update, but I've been having a lot of issues with the touch screen. Uh, basically, what happens is uh, if I leave the computer for too many, too many hours, maybe a couple of hours or maybe half day or whatever, just in the uh, sleep mode, uh, the computer is closed, it's uh, sitting on a table, uh, it doesn't even need to be closed. It can be just in the sleep mode, but open. Uh, something goes wrong with the uh, touch screen and basically it doesn't work. So as you're trying to touch uh, the screen, either scroll up and down or do the zoom in and zoom out, it won't do anything. You can still use a trackpad, but the touch is basically not working at all. It's like if it doesn't even exist. So the only way to fix it is just restarting the computer. So final conclusion here on these uh, computers. Uh, this guy right here is gonna go back. Uh, the reason why it's gonna go back is because I don't trust the issue with the touch screen. I don't want that to get worse or, or something that happens even more often. Uh, maybe that can be fixed with a software upgrade, I'm not sure. Other than that, two things that I have to criticize about this computer, it's the issue with the touch screen and the speaker sound. The speaker sound, it's not loud at all. And of course, you can always wear headphones so you can connect a Bluetooth wireless speaker to the computer. But if you want to sit at a table, you want to be able to listen to some uh, audio without the need of wearing headphones, the volume on this computer, unless you turn it all the way up, it's really low. Uh, the price on this guy, it's also expensive. It's about $780 or something like that. Now, uh, on this one, the, the, the reason I really like this one is because of the uh, flexibility of doing all these uh, different things. 
I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be using this in the tablet mode, but it's nice that you have the option. Uh, not only that, but, you know, when it, when it comes to putting this on a table or even like at night, you know, if I lay on bed and I want to look at the uh, internet or whatever, I can just go like this. So I can put the computer right here on my chest and just go like this. And it's just so light and so comfortable. Uh, performance on this guy, absolutely super super good really really quick i edited uh, a 10 minute video in 60 frames per second 1080p with this computer with this uh, video editing software that i got it only took about four minutes so when it comes to editing the processor really good 8 gig of ram m5 processor super light uh, portable, I have to say, you know, the uh, Asus is better looking than this one. This one on the outside kind of looks like a regular computer, but performance wise, is super good. And because of the uh, 1080p display versus the 2K or Quad HD, the battery on this guy it's gonna be better. Uh, battery on this can be better, speakers are better than that one for sure and louder. Uh, like I said, battery can be better, but it's not too bad uh, considering that you have 8 gig of RAM. If you can get seven hours or even eight hours, that's not bad at all for something this uh, thin and light. So guys, I wanna thank you for watching the video. Subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, friends.